Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolover. And right now, we only have 28 NCR dollars. But that's okay, because we are going to go ahead and beat up some cons. Which, still, Papa Con. Looking pretty cool. I really like how the portrait, you know, is of him. And the other portraits too, with the Californian aesthetic sub-mod for Old World Blues. But let's go right on in and beat up some of these g fine, fine folks. And actually, can we call everyone else in? Just because we can. Thank you very much. we got quite a few comments to go through as well. Uh, oh, there they go. Very nice. Bitter Springs, there will be no massacre here. Absolutely no massacre. Oh, rapid prototyping is very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yes. Advanced tools seem very suitable for us right now. Um, they're holding on pretty strongly, though. Let's see. Do we have air superiority here? We should, technically. But maybe not. Nope, we don't. Oh, that's all right. Don't even worry about that. There you go. Oh, if you guys go over there anyways. There you go. Now we should be able to do very, very well. Oh, look at that. Uh, Baja State. You know what? No, I don't want you to get more autonomy. Yes, that's fine. Did I not call these guys in? I thought I did, but okay. Oh, these guys are cut off. Nice. Goodbye. Casualties. 1,700. Almost 2,000. Massacre. <sighs> fake news. Fake news. Absolutely fake news. Very good. And we'll just direct, have direct control from Shady Sands. And let's see. Last time, at the end of the last episode, the... Ooh, can we not core this? Oh, we need more compliance. Yeah, the Legion made us, made us here. Um... Like, they uncored it for us, which is just... I've not never seen something like that before. Okay, so this is unhistorical. I don't, I, this must be normal for these guys, to, like, for us to lose the cores, but... Uh, Lanius! This this is literally unhistorical. I don't know what happened to Lanius. I don't know what happened to Santa Ana. They're taken out by the Ironmongers of, of all nations. Uh, it's historical, like, even more wild than normal, because there's, no, like, there's no special game rules I enabled in the game, you know rules before I started the campaign. Is this normal? Like, the Hangdog's winning against that? They even took a new Sterling. Look at that. Okay. Um, sure, but in the meantime, we are justifying for Antelope Tribes as we're just basically waiting to go to war with uh, Kaiser's Legion, but let's continue with our focuses, shall we? Yes, we shall. Up next, what shall we do? The new, the new pitch. Rebuilding. Uh, Political power is going to be pretty nice. The new pitch. This is Greater Day Glow. I think that helps us well with our um, trade notes. We might as well. Grancy Hayes has had a small obsession with baseball since he played it while growing up in rural Baja. He believes that it could be a viable icon around which to rally while rebuilding the city, and has personally put his own wealth towards the revitalization of an old stadium in the heart of the city. And let's let time go on. Uh, is there anything else we could core? Uh, the core? Of course, this area would be nice to core. Over here might not be too bad. I do want to core Arroyo, but... Let's see. Uh, it's not really worth it. Yeah, Royal is probably first. Even though I do want to get rid of Umbra. Let's see. 30,000. Uh, yeah, we don't got enough money for that for, for now. Oh, of course, that one's not worth it. And then we'll come up to here. It doesn't really matter too much. Even though we still are only on Peacetime Core. Go figure. Uh, technology will be done very soon with Riot Control Gear. Very nice. And, uh, you know what? We might as well go with this one, right? Scavenge Armor. We might as well try it. And, let's see. Uh, patrol Armor first. Ranger Patrol Armor. Very, very nice. Up next, Shady Sands, good. The Hub, good. The Boneyard could use some more civvies as well. As well as Greater Day G -G -G Low. Very nice. We want to do keep an eye on our division count, I guess we'll say. Because we can only have so many divisions, and it costs us, you know, enough money. Ooh, Timberland's going to war. Nice, very nice. Keep going and doing that. That's fine with us. Couple comments. Let's see. Someone recommends really that we do a world conquest here. Or as much of a world conquest, even though we already have allies. We'll see. Um, like I said in the last episode, we'll see. It's not going to be too bad to do, especially since we're the NCR. Um, let's be real here. Oh, where are we going? Um, we're already a, a pretty huge faction. The Legion shouldn't be terrible to take out. Obviously, the Children of the Gate won't be too bad to take out. Northern League shouldn't be too bad to take out. And we already have a pretty good Navy, actually. So, we'll see. As long as we get more money, I will be okay with doing it. As long as it doesn't, does not take us too many episodes to do. So, that's just my biggest concern, if it takes us too many episodes. But the new pitch... Let's go with advanced tools, but Mossman's army. Ranger General Mossman has something of a disdain for the average soldier in the NCR and views him as an awkward blunt tool better for pinning an enemy down than actually accomplishing anything in particular. To this end, he believes in the expansion and increased importance of the Rangers and instead puts much of his funding towards improving them as possible. Nice. Huh. Yellow Rose of Texas. Hopefully that won't give me copyright struck. Hopefully not. Cool though. All right. Oh, what? Hang dogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy 
Holy crap! How did they get that much manpower? Um... Uh, are, they must be using non-core... Hold on. Non-core manpower stuff, but, uh... What? Leader of the pack. Actually, that's... Oh, no. Holy crap, that's extremely strong. That's really nice. Holy crud. Uh, what big teeth we have? Oh, nice. We can go to one of those guys. Uh, that... I have never seen the hangdogs. First of all, defeat Lanius. Uh, maybe I've seen him once or twice, maybe. But never go... Then go to war with the Legion itself. What? Ooh, Vault City is good to get to. Oh, well, we can invite them to NCR, but now. 100 days, not too bad. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, what do we want here? Mostly infantry with some motorized. Uh, leader skill bonuses. Uh, they're all going to be using demo teams, so you might as well do that one. Right? Because troopers all have demos, so that's pretty nice. Four divisions is not bad. Uh, could you guys all go in, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Air superiority, maybe? Yes? No, maybe so? Not too much here. Sure, she, if you want to come on in. That's fine with us. No, but we're still doing pretty darn well. At this point, we're just waiting for the Legion to go to war with us. So, yeah. After Mossman's army, let's go and pause it, and then we'll go read the new Ranger Corps. The increased funding, diverted from that usually given to the NCR's common army, has had a notable impact on the Rangers in general. Superior facilities and the lion's share of able-bodied recruits has enabled them to grow in the number and quality, which, with propaganda stating again and again that the Ranger Corps has never been stronger. And that's probably true. We're already on outside of battalions, which is very nice. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Oh, this is glitch. We can't see this, though. Ah, you can hear me clicking my mouse, so we can't actually see it. That sucks. Uh... There goes the Timberline. Good. There you go. I can grab that too. Um, that actually, you know what? The more these people take each other out, the better it is for us because it makes us speed up. Let's move a little bit more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh wait. Western Brotherhood. Brotherhood. Why? Nice. Wait. They wanna. We've been nice to you this entire time. What the heck? Well, let's see. You guys are down here guarding. You guys are down here guarding. You guys are over here just kind of hanging out. So I guess you'll come over here first, maybe? We've been nice to them the entire literal time. Uh, I can probably send you guys over here, too. Uh, we got water hole right here. Is there anything else? It's technically the she as well. Um, this is, oh, why? I wanted to make sure that we would be, you know, kind of friendly with each other. Um, I, and that was another thing, too, from the last episode. Like, I did a monthly gift of Special Forces equipment to Baja State, which was a mistake. That was my fault completely, so. Um, oh, wait. Is this different? Ride control gear? Is that completely actually different? Hold on. Let's take a look. No? No, it's not looking like it's any different. Um, control, crowd, crowd gear. So if we do that, we should still be okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, all right then. There you go. I know I'm leaving the waterway open. I don't really care about it right now. Uh, anything else down here? Could use a little more money. Expand into Chester. Now we're good. We're, ooh, we get more weekly war support. Yeah, that's pretty much worth it to do. We can kind of close out political actions. That stuff for now. Drastic measures, no thanks. Development projects. We need more money. Nope. Goodbye. Investigate rumors would be kind of nice too. Deploy experimental PA. Okay, maybe we'll do that one. Our experiments with power armor has finally come to fruition, and we're ready to deploy the newly trained and equipped units in Shady Sands. These experiments will undoubtedly help us reign supreme over the wastes. Nice. Uh, strange place. We'll do that in a little bit. That's fine. We can wait. New Ranger Corps, and that'll be followed up with Rangers Lead the Way. Ranger Can Openers. Pet Project. Let's see. Ranger Unification Treaty. More uh, Special Forces. Power Armor Technology Research Speed plus 60%. Power and Production Cuts goes down, as well as Special Forces Equipment. Not bad. That's actually really good. Maybe we'll do All Roads Lead to Dayglow next, and we'll grab some Platoon Training. Actually, at this point, we must grab this one, too. Scorpios. Let's grab some of this, then. Twin Mounted HMGs. A realm of Diana Claire, one of the Hounds of Day. 
cool. And roads of Daglo. Once, the lands between the Boneyard and Daglo were a maze of roads and highways, an intricate system that allowed for near-ideal trade conditions and travel. Now, they are ruins, filled with uncountable wrecks of vehicles, with almost all world, old world routes choked to the point of uselessness. The clearance of even one of these lands would do wonders for our infrastructure. Nice, we get one, two, three, six places to get infrastructure. Very nice. Ranger Corps is very good, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. More divisions, thank you, thank you. How much money are we making every quarter because we made more divisions? Ooh, that's not good. Um, they're done by half then. Oh, we do not have any or oh, oh boy. So they were justifying on us. Do they have a war goal? No, steel legions. Oh, where is that? Oh, there's right here. Glory Falls. Goodbye, Glory. Ironmongers. Cool. Um, Navarro. Nothing. No. They must have went with Demand the Bay, maybe? They might have done that one, then. Of course, we did get good piece out, so we'll see what happens. I don't trust these guys now at all, so yeah. Construction speed, yes, please. Nice. If you need to train. So we have to be at war for them to do that, okay. For these guys... Well, since you guys are kind of in the center, our line is pretty good enough, hopefully. Come back up here. Because we apparently just got the war justification done for those guys. We have a big old board of the Crimson Acolytes. Hmm, ballistic fibers are nice. That, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go ballistics or laser weaponry. And overall, there's more support for us to go down towards ballistics. So weapons modifications. Very good. And we need to go to War of the Vault City to get another trade node by October 21st, which is pretty good. Someone said we may, might be able to do Ranger Power Armor and Special Forces because someone says that, that uh, Special Forces... Uh, the power armor might not count as special forces, maybe? We'll see. We'll, that we'll definitely take a look to make sure of that. Um, because we have so few divisions, there you go. Rose of Diglo is very nice. Grab some of uh, this up here, too. Thank you very much. And Sac City. Yeah, someone said we don't. none of us like Sac City. Okay. And let's see. What else? Republic Reserve? Sure. The stockpile of all gold and wealth in the NCR is located in the Boneyard, and the current treasurer of the Republic and head of the Republic Reserve is John Michael Henderton, whose signature can be found in the front face of all NCR notes. Very cool. Research will be done in 10 days. Let's read another one, too. Gunrunner Investments. The gunrunners of the Boneyard are among the best weaponsmiths in all the world, and certainly they are the most powerful and successful within the NCR. Capable of reproducing all but the rarest of pre-war designs and on a scale that is suitable for the NCR's military. Nice. Any better planes? Yes, please. Thank you very much. All right, let's go see what we can do with these guys. Um, actually, which group are you? You're this one. 14 divisions. Not a whole lot. But maybe we can still do some good stuff here. It's still September. Not bad. Throw you guys on there. Give it a few days so that they can actually deploy. There you go. Let's go. Who's next after that? I think the Yakuza would be good. they attack us? Yes, they do attack us a little bit. Um, that's fine. We have to be smart about this. No? Well, maybe slightly smart, at least. Oh, they're attacking us now. Okay. You should be able to win there pretty easily. Over here, uh... No, we're good. Sure, guys, you want to come in? That's fine. Just try to hold for now, guys. This is the best you can. You won't be perfect, but that's alright. We've lost... Oh, we can't tell. No more money. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So, enough... Four divisions, unreasonable demand. Goodbye. Once we get Vault City, we should do relatively okay, though. Air superiority is looking not bad. Not great, but not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, okay, so at this point, can the brother to still keep going? Forbidden Secrets? Ooh, I love Forbidden Secrets. I love Secrets and Forbidden Ones at that. Ooh, are they doing last? Oh, look at that. Oh, the strength level just goes bye bye. Now, what are they doing next? The Vandenberg, okay. They do like us. So, I don't trust them, but still. God, I wish you could see how many enemies we've killed off. We've lost 700 manpower in the last year, so that's not too bad. 34 divisions, nope. 17,000 manpower, that's quite a bit. Republic Reserve. Gunrunner investments, yes please. Fall of Vault City, they can't stand much more. Let's go and read funding scavengers. Scavengers have and continue to be the heart of the Boneyard's economy. A small army of men and women who go forth into the ruins of the old world and return with metal and other useful resources. The continued operation of these groups and their expansion is key to our economic plan. Very nice. 
And by him struggling, Gerald, Gerald Barker, he does get a little bit more experience, which is why we would like to keep him doing what he's doing. A little bit ahead of time, Ranger Armor. Very nice. If you want to help out here, that's actually fine. Gecko would be nice. Oh, the robots are encircled. Very cool. Goodbye, sir. These guys have been encircled down to here, too. Yakuza, I... You know, as much as I want to take this group, I don't think this is a trade node, so I actually might just give it to... Oh, Vault City. Yeah, there's Vault City. Yeah, New Reno, Ranger City. I, I might split it between the Desert Rangers and New Reno. Even though, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Just because the AI might actually release them as a puppet. And that's going to look really bad if we liberate ourselves. I don't mind expanding the Desert Rangers, but that might not be very good for us to do. So, direct rule from Shady Sands. Nice. Thank you, Vault City. Thank you for playing. I hope the Legion would just go to war with us soon. I kind of want to just go to war with them. A big old board of the 80s. Alright, so trade note is still disabled for now. And actually doing that got us quite a bit more money. Wow, that's really bad. In the meantime, economic restrictions, great news, and minus... Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Mm hmm. Haas? Well, it's all infantry, apparently. So, infantry attack and defense. Mr. Stranger, thank you very much. Deadlock at the polls. The NCR election teeters on the edge of disaster for never before has the Republic been so divided. The cumulative tests such as the Legion and the Brotherhood still have aroused a staunch anti-war stance from many of the NCR states, which has in turn damaged trust in the central government of the Republic and the military. The Brahmin Barons, who have flocked to the side of presidential candidate Anton Flynn, squabble for power after the recent disasters. Meanwhile, all good Murphy preaches fire and brimstone against the war like Aaron Kimball, going so far as to threaten bringing the Brotherhood of Steel into any potential conflict. Meanwhile, the charismatic Grant C. Hayes has corned the vote in the state of Daglo, and his shadowy allies begin to make their moves all across the Republic. It's very possible that the election may end up being utterly inconclusive. A nightmare event in the eyes of many. Will the Republic survive? Daglo's the future. Is this the end of the Republic? Huh. Well, I guess the Civil War still exists. Well, this is not good. So much for being historical. I guess, but then we made our choices earlier anyways. Uh, how about we finish up Gunrunner Investments first and see what happens? Alright. The NCR devolves into factions vying for power. Even though I do want to go with Deglo, uh, I still want to keep the same tree, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this. As they glow, you'll need to rise from its ashes. I kind of want to see if there's anything different. Uh, is this the end of the Republic? Let's do that one first. And Republic at war. Okay, so the Civil War is still here. If you like it about that, please go right ahead. Move the treasure to your location. Frugality has skipped us, and this is what we reap. And we still have the main focus tree, which is what I really actually want to do. So frugality escaped us, and this is what we reap. Our economic advisors are reporting some extremely troubling news. Due to our recent spending sprees, our coffers are depleted. Indeed, our current income wasn't enough to offset our expenses, and as a result, we've burned through our surplus funds too quickly. It's just safe to say that we are currently suffering a minus 21% stability and a host of other terrible effects that have come with a horrible fiscal situation. It is absolutely imperative that we put our efforts towards solving this crisis and getting our economy back on track. And if this issue worsened for much longer, there's truly no telling what would happen to any of us. Heck, our people could even revolt against us. Wow. Dip into the emergency funds? Oh, that is not good. Uh, so, war bonds. There you go. Business favors? Quest loans? Uh, Republic at war. The NCR election has ended in a deadlock, something that is new for the young Republic. Under normal circumstances, this would be handled with a something as simple as a recount. But things have been further complicated by the re elevation of Grant C. Hayes and his connections to the renewed Western Enclave. Denouncing the election while also proclaiming Daglo as an independent nation and inheritor to the Republic. Even now, his forces advance, be they Enclave soldiers in power armor or former NCR personnel who flocked to his cause. In an attempt to counter these developments, Aaron Kimball has declared himself the de facto president of the NCR, and something that is unanimous by supporters in the Shady Sands in the military. However, this action has alienated the people of the Boneyard, who would decry the military's take over the Republic and avoidance of democracy in the matter. Outraged by the situation and hoping to get to avoid getting caught up in the war between Kimball and Hayes, Allgood Murphy and his supporters have declared an independent Boneyard with many of the surrounding communities flocking to the banner of his new Republic. Aaron Kimball has, understandably, labeled Allgood and his followers enemies of the Republic and called for his arrest, even as Hayes prepares to push both Allgood and Kimball out with his growing war machine. Allgood Murphy is not yet the only individual who has chosen to stand against the sudden ascension of Aaron Kimball and his military regime. Anton Flynn is elected to succeed for the nation, due in no small part to his beliefs that neither of his 
counterparts stands a chance in heck against encroaching forces of Hayes, even Elf. He seeks a dialogue with the man, promising submission and possibly cooperation so long as he and his people can maintain their current status quo and monopolies. We stand by the Republic. Alright, so it's cool, cool to see that we actually get to this point. Oh, the NCR controls still quite a bit. Um, so, as we saw, we still technically have our focus tree, but since I don't know much about this, Baron's Republic, Anton Flynn, they have a generic focus tree. The Boneyard has a generic focus tree, as well as Greater Diglo. Like I said, I did want to go with this group, but... Eh. Can't really afford to go down that route right now, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Industrial Fertilizer. We could probably use that. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll do next... Uh, what do we want to do? Rangers lead the way. Rangers are, above all things, special forces capable of infiltration and reconnaissance. Ranger... General Mossman employs a relatively simple approach to large-scale engagement, one that involves using rangers as scout ahead of a main body of infantry in order to assess the ideal location for an engagement and to counter any and all moves an enemy might make. And just in case, let's go and save the game. You never know if we need to really save it, but we might as well. It's interesting, 2280. I guess that is a time when we have the elections and civil war can start. Alright, so where are, are our divisions? You five are going to race down here. Just hold the line. Because technically we... Oh, we, we are still doing that. Hmm. Because we still have the NCR Rangers, New Reno, uh, the Brother of Steel is still there. But we do have the Baja State helping us out as well. Actually, we might request your divisions to help fight these guys too. Um, this is something I almost never do. Request soldiers from our uh, puppet states. So, you guys are... Oh, we lost so many guys. Oh, well. Ted Monroe. Hello. Greater Day Glow. Please go. And you have upgrades Ted Monroe's. Actually, what do you have here? He's a fast shot. Hurts our entrenchment. Alright, whatever. Uh, 20 combo width. They're actually not that bad. Let's go with Mysterious Stranger. That's fine. Whatever. You guys shall be led by James Grossbeck. Cool. And attack. Supply consumption is down. Let's go with... I don't know. Inspirational. Why not? It doesn't really matter to me too much. How much strength does uh, Deglo have? Nine to six thousand, six sixty-nine thousand manpower, up to forty-seven divisions, forty-five thousand manpower, up to fourteen divisions. The Boneyard's going to die hopefully quickly, and the Barons in the north. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing as one of these factions, but when, but they don't have unique focus tree, so we're probably not going to. But in the future, when Old World Blues does get an update for the NCR in four point then we will probably. All right, so you guys, head on up here too with our puppets. Our puppets are allies. We should be able to do fairly well against these guys, so I'm not too super worried about that. You guys come in there too, and three more divisions. Head on down here to the Boneyard if you can. It's not much, but it'll work for now. Even though we need more, way more money. Alright, so shippies, go and do that. Go do that. Go home. Just go home wherever you can. Demand tribute? Nope. Call on that. Alright, well, this sucks that we got, you know, we're in this stupid little entanglement. Now you're going to get attacked. That's fine. Go there, there, there. Uh, yeah, everyone, come on in. Kind of unfair, but it doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. Oh, you guys just... If you guys can, go right on in. Keep them busy. That's my main thing that I want these guys to do. Just keep them busy for now. Keep them busy. Oh, come on, man. Weapon modification. Let's grab some service rifles. Probably should at this point. Hold and help attack there. I just want you to hold the line. That's literally all I want you to do. Because over here, hopefully we can do well, maybe. Just go in. You might actually just be able to do well here. Just because of uh, all the enemy divisions and such. So, get a ranch would be nice. Let's look at these guys if you can. Um, guys, would you like to come in the war and help us out? Oh, they don't want to, huh? They're only fighting against a bone yard, which doesn't make any sense, but alright. Alright, let these guys kill each other too. And use our puppets divisions, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, if you're losing, hmm... Maybe I should hold then. You still might be able to win though, actually. Give it some time. Give it some time. I'll take out the Barons though. Barons need to die. 
Well, 17 divisions here, we should do pretty darn well. Well, that sucks right now. That really sucks. Uh, keep going in. I want to take out the barons first. Barons first, barons first. Uh, don't worry about that. Go up there. And then go in there. You go here, here. Nice. Go, go, go. Good. You do the same type of thing. You can't get any worse, right? The fiscal crisis finally pushed your people to the breaking point. With nothing in their pockets, with little nothing left to lose, our people have taken to the streets and are violently protesting against us. Important infrastructure has already been damaged by rioters, and this damage is causing logistical issues and distributing important resources across our territory. Local police and security forces were having trouble keeping the peace, so we regrettably had to turn our military's power against our people in order to restore the peace. We haven't been able to quell all the resistance yet, and we're still in the process of undoing damage across the nation, but we must urgently address our economic situation in order to prevent any further damage and bloodshed. Unless we get our country back on track, the situation can and will get much worse. What do you want me to do? We gotta give it a little bit of time so we can get some more money. That's literally, we gotta we gotta wait. Just give us a few more times. I know you guys are starving. Starvation didn't hurt too many people. Oh crap, don't tell me Kaiser's coming in too. He's coming in! Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know what, screw it. I wanted to use you guys, but you cost me too much money. There you go. Let, let our puppets deal with them. And actually, for these guys, we can actually get it. Field Marshal now. Uh, Mossman? No, Mossman? What the heck? Uh, inspirational, we love Inspirational. Supply Consumption, Mysterious Stranger. That's actually, yeah, let's go. I'll go with Gross Spec. Why not? Gross Spec. Why not? Alright. Sterling? Cunningham? I don't know. Usually when stuff like this happens, I don't feel really good about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay with this. Uh, you guys can go in probably too. That's fine. White Legs in the 80s. Um, we're not really ready for a war right now, as you can, as anyone can tell. They're still fighting the hang dogs, and they're they're doing really well, so we don't have much time for this. Uh, where's the capital? Reading. You might be able to get there quick enough, maybe. This is not good, not good, not good. Uh, I'm going to go need some idiot. Yeah, there you go. Some uh, idiot savant? No. Actually, for you guys, just actually go right here. Just cut them off. Cut these guys off. Ochiko? Reading? Ranger combat armor? Nice. I mean, I guess technically. If we do go to war, they will go through the Mojave. Ooh. The Mojave Rangers, or territories should be able to defend that area, especially with New Vegas there, too. Now you want to come into the war, guys? Come on, man. Man, come on. All right, so we have recon team kits. There you go. And you know what? Someone did say we should get some potato power armor. I guess we might as well. Eventually. Eventually. Economic capital's fallen. All right, we should be making... Ooh. Okay, we're positive on money. We're positive on money. We got our Sac City back. We got our sacks back. That's good. Rangers lead the way. Cool, cool, cool. And what else? Um, <laughs> we don't control the hub. That makes sense. Ranger can openers. The Ranger General Mossman, like with many within the NCR Rangers, feels that the Brotherhood of Steel are easily the most dangerous threat that the NCR faces to this day. A thorn in the side of the Republic who use their advanced technology to bully the common folk of the NCR. To this end, special drills and tactics are being developed by the Rangers, informally referred to as can opener techniques. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, three divisions? Oh, that makes sense. Alright, you guys hold now. Don't worry about attacking. Just defend and actually, we want to get up there. That's actually fine with me. Uh, we could maybe upgrade them, but we'll see what happens. Okay, that's good. Alright, you guys cannot afford to just sit there. We gotta go. Camp. Inspirational. Nice. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. For the love of God, go. I wish we could see how much more we need. But thank goodness, I'm glad we kept some of the motorized. That was actually really smart of us. Ace by the promoted. Good. You cut them all off. Kill them all off then. Oh, I thought the game crashed there. It did not yet. That's good. Oh my gosh. Where's the capital? How is Klamath the capital? That is complete BS. How? Guys, please come in the war. Oh, the NCR, the Legion can go to war this whenever they want now. Crap. That sucks. Man, this sucks. But it could be a lot worse. This, this this Civil War is actually pretty manageable. It's not that bad. It just sucks. Oh, we gotta get rid of those guys. Hey! 
Oh, second battle. Oh, crap. Everyone knew this day would come. Once more, the Legion assaults a dam, and once more, the NCR seeks to repel the assault with whatever means it can. Unlike the first time, however, neither Oliver nor the Malpious Legate stand, uh, stand alone. The Legion assault now brings with it the full weight of the Legion's military and industry. Similarly, the NCR itself is mustering troops to march into the Mojave and reinforce the woefully outnumbered Mojave expedition. Will the NCR manage to mobilize before the forces are overwhelmed, or will the full weight of the Legion crush the forces of liberty that dare oppose them? Uh, we as a whole begin mobilizing our forces, ready to bring support. Of support to the Mojave expedition. It'll take time, but once it is complete, the NCR will observe the Mojave territories and join the war against the Legion. Time remaining until this occurs can be found in the decisions tab. How are we losing money? How are we all out of money? Should the Legion manage to crush the Mojave expedition before the NCR can muster, they will surely have an undisputed control over the area until the NCR can declare a formal war. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost about ready to get more money. Crap. There we go. We got enough money. Woo, baby. I don't want to have any more issues there. Um, anything else? Not really. Cool. Please, 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 please finish these guys off. Come on. Where are the motorized? Where are you going down there? Go up to Klamath. That's so dumb. Oh, actually, I want all of you guys to do this. Uh, I, I can't afford to go to war with those guys right now, guys. You should be able to hold on. Like, seriously, it's not that... Oh, yeah, they're doing pretty well, so... Just please don't attack them as well. Please do not. Good, good. You're doing a good job. Let's see, what is this? Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to war right now with these guys. All right, we got them. That's good. In the meantime, we're going to come down here, too. we going to beat the crap out of the Daglo. Dag these guys should be able to hold on. Uh, lower terrace. Cool. Bone yarn is gone as well. Get over that river. Nice. And let them attack, attack, attack. Grancy Hayes. As much as I want to play with Grancy Hayes. It's just not in the cards right now, man. Oh, crap. That is not good. Just throw more divisions there. You guys can hold on. I know these guys can hold on. It's really difficult as a legion to take out Hoover Dam and such. So It's incredibly hard to. Let them uh, waste their manpower. Crusher's army's gone. Oh, still can't see that. God dang it. Ranger can openers. Nice. And, oh, can't do that yet. Uh, mechanized core? Uh, might, might as well. The NCR is one of the few nations in the world capable of sustaining a sizable fleet of support vehicles and motorized support. While these vehicles fill a largely logistical role, on rare occasions one can find these divisions risked on daring envelopment techniques against the NCR's more slippery foes. Very nice. I like that. And since we have no money, I I think it's just best if we keep our money for now. It just I'm just worried about having enough money. So, God, we got we have no divisions. Jesus Christ, we were doing so well, and then we just have to have a civil war. So sad, man. So sad. Oh, we have no rangers. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Let me even build some up too. So unfortunately, it looks like these do cost or part of our special forces cap. That really sucks. I mean, they don't. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to parachute these guys, but that really sucks that we can't do that. Oh, Spets. Oh, we get super units too, huh? Now, I like my divisions pure. Relatively pure, I guess. Relatively. Oh, look at that. Anti air looks really cool. Look at that. We do have a cup of coffee here too, as well. We would have a lot of recons, so fire teams are probably the way to go. Cool. Max them out if you can. Awesome, awesome. Brotherhood oper oh, Brotherhood Operatives. Can you guys actually go like here, 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 or here, here, here? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go throw everyone except for you here. I'm going to throw you guys here as well, maybe? No. Actually, it'd be better to go boom, boom, boom. That way it would be better. So, all of you guys go here. And then, uh, let's see. Take half of you guys go there. And then take you to go right there. Because you guys can come here too. And do we have air bases around here at all? Are they doing anything? No, they're not. What are they up to? Nothing? How sad. <sighs> go down to 50. Go up to 50. There you go. At least get up to 50, man. That's so sad. But yeah, this Civil War is not that bad. It's really not that bad. Come on, you should be able to beat them up. They're still beating us up, too. Are you kidding me, man? That's so dumb. You know what? Fine, hold. 
I mean, we, I mean, these guys are doing fine as well. I kind of want to push over here. There's nowhere good to push into here. Oh, man. You know what? Let them attack us. Retreat from the line a little bit. Go right there so they'll attack us a lot more. A little bit ahead of time. Let's get some more land out attack. How about that? Now let them attack us more and more and more and more. There you go. That's what we want to see. Let them waste themselves on our line. It sucks doing it like this, but we'll be fine. They'll be fine too. Basic weaponry. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, we're good, guys. We're good for now. There you go. I'm going to throw these guys over here as well. There you go. That should be better. No worries. Hmm. God, I wish you could see how many losses they've inflicted. Or we've inflicted on them. Alright, so by doing this, you do get to lower their entrenchment by a little bit. Which is good. And you obviously get to see what they have around here. So, Lower their entrenchment a whole bunch, hopefully. Discover what they've got going for themselves. Get more experience. We actually have more manpower. Just kind of holding on to this territory, what we have currently, than anything else. So, actually, I guess technically we do have that one, but whatever. Alright, so can we core this actually for realsies again? Oh, we're not in a civil war. If we're in a civil war, we can't core stuff. That sucks. That really sucks. And with you guys, with David Kemp here, he is inspirational, right? So, he's going to be learning a lot. He's already skill level 3, becoming a hills fighter and such. Not bad. Mechanized core is very good as well. Throw you guys in there for now. And we'll do some shotgun base now. Weapon standardization for better infantry equipment uh, cost. The NCR has been having certain issues with equipping its infantry. Not due to lack of firearms, but due to an overwhelming variety of probably guns. Numerous small manufacturers produce innumerable weapons for the NCR, some of which can take different ammo or break after brief amounts of use. This inconsistency has caused heck for our forces in the field. That's not very good. Oh boy. You know, you keep calling me in, but you guys are doing an extremely good job, so... It's a lot of map power. You guys have about 3,000. Hmm. Alright. I'll watch out for spies, why not? Alright, you guys still doing well down here, maybe? Yes? Very good. Very, very good. Looks like they might be running out of equipment eventually. Or maybe support equipment, or maybe mobile. Oh, they have mobile four or power bases. Okay. How are you guys doing up here? Hoss Contreras. Looking pretty good. Basic drills. Very nice. Actually, how about we upgrade our stuff, finally? Um, flamethrowers, grenade rifles. I think we'll use frag grenades. It makes more sense, I think, for a conventional army to use frag grenades and flamethrowers. But who am I? I'm just, I'm just a normal guy on the internet. <clears throat> Building a lot of roads. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We need more military factories, really, though. We really do. There you go. Area 6, and then there you go. Cool. And we can do that one next. Why not? Yeah, a lot more military factories would be really nice. All right, take a look at their manpower. Maybe even their equipment levels as well. Uh, up to 30,000. That sucks. Close air support. Mole fortifications. Radios they have plenty of. Other than that, they have a few guns left. So we got to wait for them to lose all that stuff, which is good. They keep attacking, which is nice. And they keep attacking, which is also very nice as well. Need some help? There you go. Advanced recycling. This is definitely not how I wanted my campaign to go against the NCR. Or, or really, yeah, technically, yeah, the NCR. But uh, playing as the NCR. It's like, I was not expecting it like this. It really wasn't. Any upgrades? James Grossbeck, yes. Uh, I like Savage Leader, so let's go with Rooted. Actually, Pain Train, yeah, we don't have that. And that wouldn't really make sense for us either. Watch out for Spies. The press capture Daglo plans. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. This happens every time we have freedom of press, so they can't stop the press. Oh, they can try? Yes, they can. Night Vision Devices. Let's go and grab some more recon as well. And our guys are moving in. Agent was killed. Oh, no, 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 no. And Gunrunner expansion, I don't do that in a Gunrunner deal. The most group most suited to aiding in the standardization of the NCR's military equipment would have to be the Gunrunners, who pride overt quality and standards above any other group in the Wasteland by paying the Gunrunners to send experts to oversee weapon manufacturing across the Wasteland. We should be able to increase the quality of our weapons in general. Refitting firearms, what is that? Unification Treaty, Brahmin Baron, Seth. Um, Legacy of Navarro really hurts us still. Draft standards, let's see, in the Mojave campaign, which still hurts us. Ranger pop up, Mossman, minting, mechanized core, the finest new fit, fit to print. I like that one. I like that quite a bit. Okay, so this one actually hurts us. Uh, that's better. So, yeah, not bad. 
And who's just a fine us? Oh, crap. Oh, don't. Oh, and the shnikes. If they demand it, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to them. But that just means I'm going to kill them later then. We will kill them later then. If they so demand it. That... Is that is that historical? That I guess that's historical, maybe? I don't know. Let's go look. We have a lot of PP, though, too. Maybe we should raise our manpower, but we don't really need to. Cultural advisors, imperialists, more caps would be really good. Uh, root out resistance, mission effects. That's actually something we'll probably be using quite a bit, so... Military factory speed, plus 0 0.05 political power for Anton Flay, not worth it. Uh, let's grab that guy. And we'll grab Oscar Stone, too, as well. Over here, we shall grab whom? No, all good in the boneyard. I don't want to hurt my cap's income, so I'm not doing that one. And up next... Oh yeah, let's always try and shoot Victoria Flyers. Very good. Oh, good. Oh, more divisions. That's kind of nice. Mm hmm. You guys are still getting attacked somewhat, so... Sure. We'll get this from Saws. Thank you. The Bay. So it's like, I think over here, Greenpoint, San Rafael... How many airplanes do we have? Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that stuff too. Uh, radio? radio? Sure, why not? Cool. And how are we doing over here? We got plenty of radios. Go down to five. Um, demo equipment should be more than the Brotherhood's ultimatum. We finally received a demand from the Brotherhood themselves, looking to finally secure the grasp on the Bay Area once and for all. The Brotherhood demanding that we hand over Santa Rosa, San Rafael, and Greenpoint to them. The fact that they are sending this demand while well, our rangers are busy will cause the public to panic if we refuse openly, after all. The last time this happened, the Brotherhood was able to sack our gold reserves. They can have it? No longer a core, huh? Tech with that? Well, we can't really... Uh, well, I mean, technically... Well, technically, we could hold them off. Hmm. You know, they can have it. Screw it. That's something I would probably never choose. So technically, we should have these as cores, but, you know, the game just took it away from us. Which means I'm going to burn the Brotherhood down to the ground. I'm choosing options here that I no normally would not choose. Make it a little different, you know? I'm going to burn the Brotherhood to the ground. Every single one of them is going to have to die. Uh, Michael Contreras. We have a Contreras, so Grant. Oh, he's a Mad Bomber, Carl. We like Mad Bombers. Gunrunner deal. And... Uh, Sac City Reborn. Sac Sactown was once a former capital of California before the bombs fell. And not long after that, it became a bastion for raiders and tribals, notably the 80s. However, the town was never a proper term for such a place, and the NCRs made strides to establish the location as an economic hub and nor their northernmost city of importance. Nice. <clears throat> I'm ready to just murder them all. We do have airbase here, so that's actually really good. Bot plane fires. Oh, yes, more trampoline attackers. Alright, I'm kind of tired of waiting here, so I'm going to stack you all, like, just literally here, and we're going to pelt this division, this tile, as hard as we possibly can. Three, two, go. You know, you, key, you guys could help out right there, but I don't think it's really worth it. I want you to force it. Force them to die. Force them to die. Go in. Go in. Ah, three more divisions. Very nice. Very nice. Throw you guys over here. Ted Monroe, thank you very much. Kill them all off. Leave none of them alive. Don't let them leave. You will die here. We want blood, and we will get it. Alright, up next, we should grab some of that. Because we have plenty of air XP. Even we should get some more expansion for our special forces as well. And come on, guys. Go, 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 go. You're almost there. Good, good, good. Actually, you guys should just go up there for now. I'll, I'll take out the infantry too later on. That'd be fine. Kill them all off. You know what? Screw the. Oh, I want to say screw these guys, but they actually broke through, which is not good. Ah, uh, big sadness. Finish off Deglo first. That's fine. 
And then we'll deal with the Brotherhood of Steel. How dare you? How absolutely dare you? Old bonds demand the bay. I can't believe like it's one thing if we lose core. Like why do we lose cores on this? That's so dumb. Uh, let's see. Scouring the old city. We don't have the boneyard. I guess we'll do the Gunrunner expansion. The Gunrunner expansion is, is a generous donation from the NCR's military budget intended to be put towards a large-scale expansion of the Gunrunner's facilities so that they might better arm the NCR. Troops as the push towards standardization is made. As the push is made better. Alright. Oh, we got a lot of ships here. That's nice. Mm. It's like death stack. I can't tell who is where, what, when. So there you go. Find and kill every single last one of them. Leave none alive. Cancel the lease. That's f oh crap. You guys dead. You know that's the problem with doing it like this. You guys are just gonna get encircled, 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 which is so dumb. But we'll be free. We'll free ourselves. Come on. There you go. Now that's better. Good. We got the boneyard. Nice. Come up here next. It was a hub the capital? Diglo is. Diglo is. That's right. It's alright. Look at that. Nice. Sink their stupid little shippies. Let's come back over here and do this. More special forces expansion. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like we're winning. We'll help, oh, we'll help all and defeat the Legion. Oh, that. Look at that. Maybe we don't need to do that. You know what? Maybe we'll go to Brotherhood next. Maybe. How many divisions do they have? 47? We have enough. We're going to beat them up probably. Screw these guys. Because they actually took back Cottonwood Cove and circled all these guys. Ooh, they're losing right there, but whatever. We'll come in the war. We can come whenever whenever we want. So, that is not too bad. You got a circle man? Come on. It's probably one of the calmest times I've, I've had while being in a civil war with another group here. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Hey, we got Greater Diggle. How are they not dead yet? Is the hub the capital? No, the hub has been taken as well. Colonet? That is not even your... That's not, that shouldn't even be core territory. Huh. Very strange. Very, very strange. So these guys should all be starving and dying soon, hopefully. Uh, what else we got around here? Manpower? We have almost 50,000, so that's pretty good. Uh, Gunrunner liaison? That's not bad. I like the soft attack. Yeah, let's grab Zachariah. That's actually really good. I'm glad we waited for that one. Grenade rifles. I want more soft attack. I want to be the butcher of the world. Very good. When you death stack it, it feels pretty nice. Willy line home. Any upgrades? No. Naval lineage? Whatever. Kill them all off, please. Thank you very much. Please just don't get encircled. Yay! War time administration. Uh, bolstered at war effort. Reaffirm our control. And I'm going to save my PP for now. That would be smart to do. Keep them in place. And we got them. Day glow's gone. Civil so war's over. But not really. It's never over. War never changes. Those guys over there are doing well enough. I don't really care. And I'm going to murder every single Last Brotherhood member there is. Um, you guys come up here too. And then you guys come down here. I thought we'd get to the war with the Legion by this episode, but we might. We, we still might, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you guys go right. Uh, one, two, three. Boom. 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 Oh, there you go. These guys are holding out. I'm, I'm not worried about this. Just... If they, one little push and they can kill them all off. Uh, next, uh, securing the old city. The Boneyard was once the greatest city in all of old world America, vast in population and size, and filled with the brim of technology and wonders now lost of time. Yet in the ruins, one can still find wonderful things. What has been uncovered recently? Scouring the old city, the city of LA once held some of the greatest technology and people in all of the old world. And the acquisition of these pieces of technology and information could vastly improve the quality of life in the Boneyard and the NCR on the whole. What secrets can we find in the old city, and how might they benefit the greatest nation of the new world? Old world machines, more max factories in a state, and construction speed. Old world armor, gaining technology that increases your army's attack and defense and urban terrain by 10%. That's actually not too bad. That's kind of interesting. Hold on, let's take a look at that. Uh, we have quite a bit of stability in war support. Look at that. 90, 92, 91%, not bad. Uh, old world armor, schematics, advanced power armor, Xeon, that'd be kind of cool. Units, what is this? Supermans, auxiliaries, Nikens. Super Mutant Civilization would be kind of nice, but uh, let's see, buffs, travel buffs, there's a NCR buffs, Old World Armor, huh, yep, urban, or Old World Theaters, more population, more worse, that's not really great, I like construction speed to max factors, honestly, but you know what, let's get Old World Armor, because maybe we'll try to max out all the buffs we can here, we need gym drills, which we won't get, probably, NCR private police, cool, and let's go and do the bear port.
The NCR has been uh, behind on technological innovation for decades, instead relying heavily on its superiority on land. However, in the Boneyard, a vast and most likely intact airport has lain dormant for over a century. A new grant for the renewal of this location has been approved by the Congress. And I didn't realize that actually we're at war with the, um, uh, the White Legs. So, because they're part of Kaiser's Legion. Cool. That's great having allies. We don't really do much too much, now do we? No, we don't. Very nice. Cool, and, and as you can see, we're still waiting to go to war with these guys as well, so... I want to kill these guys first. I really hate the Brotherhood of Steel right now. And we're still doing fine. Oh, actually, lost Hoover Dam. Oh, well, whatever. Grenade rifles are where it's at. Oh, well. And anyway, overall, we're doing pretty darn well. 61,000 manpower. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, do we have some more outdated equipment? No, we don't. Any more ships, maybe? Oh, baby, we got a lot of ships. Oh, I can't wait for this one. Oh, good. There you go, just go there. I don't even care at this point. There you go, nice. There you go. Very good. We should do pretty darn well. Yeah, especially against these guys. These guys can go just die. We should be able to decimate all of our enemies' fleets at this point in the campaign, but obviously, you never know. You never really know. And so you guys go there, keep training. We want. I'm going to kill off the Brotherhood of Steel before we actually go to war with the Legion. Should be fine. No, well, you know, should be. But you never know. And we do have enough PP, so at this point, we can go back and court Ash, and hopefully the Legion doesn't upset this anymore, so. Whoa! Texas is Texas is doing really well. Wow, look at that. They actually went to War with Pecos Colony. I, you, we usually don't see them do that, but maybe the devs fix it now. Oh, Sheila Brown. Cool. And they're being led by Cho Bang. Very nice, Cho Bang. Very nice. They probably won't be too easy to defeat. That's a lot of manpower, but that's alright. And probably, I know we're not even in the war with this these group of people yet, but, um... We'll probably just directly control all of the White Lakes territory, New Canaan territory, just because the NCR Rangers probably don't have enough manpower to guard all this territory and put down resistance, maybe. So I just think, just overall, I think it'd be best if we directly ruled it. Obviously, we'll give the Aegis some stuff, but we'll kill them off as well in the time, but whatever. Funding the followers. The followers of the Apocalypse have always done well by the NCR, and it's time that the favor was returned. Volunteers and doctors are being sent to this organization by the dozen, and official funding from the regional Boneyard promises to help grow their organization so that it might better help the people of the NCR as well. Seems like a good fair trade deal. And we're still producing plenty of equipment for now. Uh, equipment, not bad, not bad. Uh, Sac City, BB Nice, Boneyard, let's see... Has improved the boneyard, even though they were just rebellious pieces of garbage to us. Up next, what else do we want? Some trained doggos? Yes, please. Uh, are we making doggos? Do we have doggos in production? Doesn't look like it. Get some doggos. Oh, there goes Pecos Colony. Goodbye there. And rioters. Oh, we have, don't have enough army XP. That sucks. That's alright. Rioters, thank you very much. We shouldn't need to wait too much longer to go to war with these guys, right? Ah, uh, it's about 30 ish, 35 days left. Not bad. How much manpower does the Legion have now? The scavengers titles. Uh, still quite a bit. 131 divisions, not too bad. Once we actually really do get involved, we should be able to beat them up pretty easily. Oh god, these guys are dumb. But that's okay. And we do have quite a few planes too. Love it. Quite a few planes. Watch out for spies, it's very nice. Antipartisan, very good, very good. Hopefully enough money for now. It won't always stay that way, of course. But we're also restoring the Sancho, uh, Rancho Seco NGS. Very good. Advanced propulsion charges. Grab some more reconnaissance. Unspensive armaments. Grab some automated harvesting. After this one, can we get any more research speed at all? No, we're actually done with this. Oh, we're done with this part of the engineering. Cool. Now we're mostly done with this as well, so that's not too bad. Let's grab some research speed, or resource production, I mean. Resource production. Oh, and when we do go to war, let's make sure we actually get enough uh, re reconnaissance on, or uh, information, research, on the despicable Brotherhood of Steel. Because by giving them all the territory up here, too, they're very spread out. I'm going to burn every piece of power armor that they got. 60,000 manpower is not enough. The Boneyard Sprawl. And what was once called Lake Wood lies Aditum, one of the most important settlements in the Boneyard. Lake Wood used to be the inland used to be inland before the war, but the nuclear devastation wrought upon the city caused flooding and destruction of the coastline. Two more city workshops, and plus ten percent more to uh, development. Not bad. Pretty good. You guys, what are you doing? There we go. So let's go and stop training and get ready to go to war and burn the heck out of the Brotherhood. How dare you, Brotherhood of Steel? How absolutely dare you? Still burning yourself up and oh well. Alright, just in time. Alright, let's see. Uh, our division's looking good. Looking pretty good. Burn in hell, you piece of garbage. Come attack us. Come attack us. You're not attacking us? We'll attack you then. 
Force them to die. Every single last one of them. You help them out, too. Uh, let's see. Yes. 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 Over here, we're just kind of hanging out for now. Which makes sense. We It's, it's pretty thin up here, but... Over here, not bad. And we do have our Navy operating around here, too. So, that is quite good. Too bad we lost the cores. It's really, really quite unfortunate that we lost the cores here. You guys can do it without doing other stuff, too. So, whatever. Kill them all off. Please just kill them all off. Oh, Navarro would be nice this time of year. Good, good, good. If you want to, come right here and then go do that. Bodega, still cut them off too. And if they want supplies, they'll have to use convoys. Eh, so glitch. Gosh darn it, that sucks. Can we pierce them? Uh, they can't pierce us, actually, huh? But we can pierce them. Divisions go bye bye. Hmm, operative capture. Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, that's not good. I mean, Brotherhood of Steel. You could have done well. You could have done great. But you chose ignorance and stupidity. Wow, we actually lost uh, quite a few ships. Doesn't matter. Does not matter to me. We're going to kill off all the divisions. Roy Reynolds is going to be doing a great job. He's a Hills fighter, of course. Or is becoming a Hills fighter. Eh, grab that. I don't want to lose anything else. Steal some technology. Mercantile spies. Thank you very much. Boneyard sprawl. And purebred mutts. Expanding the Bear Force. The aptly named Bear Force of the NCR is, among other things, underfunded and lacking in expertise. However, expansion is still something that is being invested in by the NCR, and a reallocation of funding as well as guidance from a number of pre-war ghouls should hopefully expand the NCR's capacity to wage war in the skies. Very nice. Up next, let's see some more research, shall we? Yes, please. Uh, grab some more doggos. Other comments, do world... I already said do worldwide conquest. We'll see what happens. Uh, we already went down ballistics. Uh, that, As you saw, I, someone recommended the Big Brother Nair... Big Brother Bear name for this campaign, which we did, as well as someone recommends we try the Phoenix Republic. I'd like to, but if you don't know, like the Phoenix Republic actually has no the generic focus tree, um, and it would be basically impossible to play as them for right now since they're just kind of there to be set up to be crushed by Kaiser. Uh, see, so the reason why the Legion loses the Battle of Hoover Dam is because it's scripted and unhistorical. Even if it's a historical, I've often seen them losing the Battle of Hoover Dam, and let's see. Integrating Baja won't give us cores, so yeah, that, that sucks, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. Any other ships? No, that's okay. Actually, did our Admiral get any more things up here at all? Maybe, maybe not. Cool. But hopefully we can beat these guys up and just continue destroying the Brotherhood of Steel, because they're evil. Absolutely pure evil. We, we tried to be nice to them. We tried to give them a way out. We tried... You know, and be fair, to be just. But they do not want to be fair and just with us. And thus, they will have to die. Oh, you guys actually might be able to do well here. You might actually be able to break over the river. Can you guys do well? Nah, probably not. You guys are going to be struggling here quite a bit. Makes sense, though, why you would be. Another operative captured. Dex is going to be a big old nation we got to try to take out. We're missing doggos, maybe, or what's going on? Infantry armor? That makes sense. Oh, made an encirclement there. Oh, I wish we could see how much manpower they don't have. Radioactive material leak. Great. Ah, uh, China Lake. Thank you. Force it. Last lodge. Very cool. Because once these guys spread out, then they have to have a much bigger uh, front line to prevent us from escaping into the land. Automated harvesting. Let's come back to over here and do some of this. Acclimatization training. Thank you very much. Oh, you guys are done? You guys did a great job. Oh, wait, there is a waterway over here, too. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. Merchant, merchant, mercantile. Merchant guys. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, could you guys actually not... Oh, they're actually taking us. Look at that. Huh. Good. Keep improving Sac City. Van Graaf's organization is fine, and we're almost broken across into their lands. Good. Right, I want you to hold. Don't go too crazy there. Go that way or something. Are they leaving or something? What's going on here? 
you might actually be able to do well. 1v1 with the air superiority will do very well for everyone here. There you go. Nice. We broke over. Great. Everyone go right on in. She, would you like to come in? You probably won't get take, take too much damage. Call to arms. Should do fairly well with this one. Just please don't get encircled. Maxim would be nice as well. Lost Lodge is gone. Goodbye, Lodge. There you go. Nice. Should be able to get up there pretty quickly, too. You guys doing okay here? You can cut them off if you go that way. But I guess not. Alright. Oh, you guys got in circle, too. Nice. Help them out. Expanding the bear force. And... One bear slide. Despite all odds, the Boneyard's airport has become the jam of the NCR's air force, and has become a hub for the refurbishing and reconstruction of assorted aircraft. It is here that aspiring engineers are trained to rebuild the war machines of old, and it is here, or from here, that the NCR's new air fleet shall be launched. Awesome. Those three divisions will die, as we are just moving straight on in. You know what, at this point, oh, there goes the white legs. I'll actually accept that from there, too. We'll greatly lower their time later on. That'll be fine. I want to see how many we've killed. Oh, Lost Hills Bunkers. Very good, very good. You guys have done a great job. After this, we are going to smash the living crap out of the Legion. How dare you do this, Brotherhood of Steel. Eight divisions, or eight factories left. Now you join? You're not going to get jack squat from us, she. Yeah, seriously, that was stupid. Ah, I kind of wish I went to war earlier, but we, you know, we were in a civil war. What do you expect? Direct rule. Burn Lost Hills Bunker. That's so dumb that we don't get cores on us once again. If you take them back out again, you should get cores. Wow, these guys are doing so well. They probably don't even need us. All right, let's take a look. You guys go under someone else. Uh, man, I can't believe we lost everybody there. Let's see. Savage Leader. Uh, I'm going to... I want Savage Leader. Recovery rate's not bad. Let's do that one. Fine, whatever. All right, so you guys are here. You guys go right here. Legion. <laughs> this is looking like the old Legion, you know. They owned all the way up there, too. It's kind of funny. Anything else down here at all? Eh, it probably shouldn't be too bad, right? Cool. But, you know what? Let's be one more focus, and we'll end it here, and in the next episode, we will take out the Legion. So, uh, this is funding the scavengers. Scavengers have and continue to be the heart of the Boneyard's economy. A small army of men and women who go forth into the ruins of the old world and return with metal or other useful resources. The continued operation of these groups and their expansion is key to our economic plan, but if you enjoyed the video, especially since we had a civil war, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll beat up the Legion and maybe even go to war with Texas, or even the 80s. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.